Well, howdy there, pluckers. I was Saul Finger here again with you. Thanks very much for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is a, a number by a band called Never Shout Never. I've already done a few of their numbers already, I believe. But uh, this has been requested by um, one of my regular subscribers called uh, Distant Ambient. And uh, he's asked for a number by them called Sacrilegious. Okay. So this is, uh, I will put a, a link into the description box. Um, uh, so you can listen to this particular version. This is, uh, I've, there seems to be different versions on the net. There's a live version and uh, there's this album version, I think. The live version seem to be more of a, st a strumming, um, sort of straightforward uh, chord strumming, whereas this is more of a picking of the, uh, the chords. And it seems a little bit more uh, sophisticated, if you want to call it like that. <laughs> okay, so this is this is the link he gave me. So I presume this is the link. Uh, this is the version he wants to learn. Okay, so without more ado, I'm going to play uh, an intro, a couple of verses, and the chorus, and then you basically you've got everything you need. Um, there's only another verse and chorus after what I'm going to play. Okay, so let's get to it and then break it down for you. <laughs> service by my Jesus. I know it sounds so sacrilegious, but I don't go with all in a place like that. I love the cause, but not the act. Jesus was my friend, Mother Church, of the sinners of each as he It's not quite right, but not far off. You get the gist, don't you? Right, <laughs> right so um, let's get to it, shall we? Right, I'm in standard tuning, but I've got a capo on the third fret, okay? This brings it into the same key that um, the recorded version that's in, this, the, in the description box link, okay? Uh, so um, if you want to play the live versions, I think you'll have to probably play it in C, okay? So this is actually in B flat. Okay, so um, basically we're playing in sort of G, C and um, D sort of shapes in this particular version. Okay, so I also think that the guitar on this particular track is probably possibly a 12 string or it's double tracked or heavily chorused or something. It's a bit jingly jangly. Okay, but anyway, I'll show you what I think he's playing and then we'll go. So the, the main riff, okay. Uh, you hold up, start off by playing a G sort of shape, but uh, with a little pinky on the third fret of the second string. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm doing it like that, as you can see, and basically um, hit the sixth string, and then play the strings uh, four, three, and two. Okay, so got that. It's quite straightforward. <laughs> And then you move to a C chord, but in the process of moving to the C chord, if you want to get it as per the record, you have to hammer up the uh, to the C note on the fifth string by going okay from the second fret of the fifth string to the third fret of the fifth string. Okay, so it's like. When you get to the C note, you hit the C note, obviously, and then you play four, three, and two of the C chord. So, so far we've got this. 
you don't, I mean, if you don't want to do that bit, you can leave it out, but it's in the record, okay? Okay, so that's as far as we've got. The next chord is a partial G chord. The only, you only need one finger for it, and that's the second fret of the fifth string. So you hit that note, B note, and then play four, three, and two again. Okay, so it's so far, then we've got, so that's fifth note, um, second fret on the fifth string, sorry, and then four, three, two. Okay, so so far we've got Finally, you play a open A note, fifth string, and then what you do is you put your, well, I'm using my third finger, on the fourth fret from the capo of the fourth string. Okay, so you hit that note, and then you hit the open third string, and then back to the fourth fret of the fourth string again. Slightly sounds like a discord, but that's what it's that's what's on it, <laughs> okay. Um, so that becomes like this, okay. Got that. So fifth string, fourth fret of the fourth string, open third back to the fourth fret of the fourth string. So so far, we've got this, or this is that's the whole basic uh, rift of the four chord turnaround, okay. So it's Just repeats that's the intro as well as the verse okay so that's the first and then you go for the intro you do it twice okay so sorry let's get that right <laughs> I forgot a little pinky there I think on the record it does it four times before the singing comes in, but I only did it twice. Okay, so that's that's basically the the, the main uh, sort of calling card of the of the song in my in my opinion. That's what uh, is the main part of the song. Then the singing comes in, and you play exactly the same through through the verse, so to speak. So it's Sunday morning, wake up early. Skip the service with the Jesus. Oh, it sounds so sacrilegious. Okay, and then it goes into a C. Just a nice slow strum. I love the chorus, but. So it sort of strums and then sort of slow strum stops and then it comes I love the chords but and then you go back into the four chord turnaround again sorry I keep losing that little finger here and then it comes into the second verse Jesus was my friend not a judge love the sinners as much as he loved the sea they're the ones goes um, that man he was love and G turn around again to call call turn around okay and it goes I sing E minor this is the chorus bit I see D Okay, again, E minor. Yeah, again, same for E minor. C, G, D. Yeah, and then one strum on Hallelujah. Hallelujah, C minor. I'm set. Back to the turnaround. Okay, got that. So we just go through that second verse that goes into the uh, chorus. Okay, so it goes <clears throat> Jesus was a friend of the church. 
Strum, how they see you. C minor, I'm set G. Turn around. Okay, and that's basically it. It just does another another verse, which is basically the same as the first verse, almost. Sunday morning, wake up early thing. Then it goes into Hallelujah again. And that's basically it. It just ends up on I'm set free. Okay. Now there's only one small thing that I could show you extra, and that's it's just an optional. He does it occasionally. I've noticed on on the four chord turnaround. Uh, the first sometimes he does it. He does slightly different. He, he so the first time. Okay, same as usual. Second time, sometimes it goes like this. Same, same, same. He sometimes he hammers up to that. Does that? But I personally just I would just tend to just leave it like that. It gets messy if you start hammering it, I think. So I think it's better if you just leave that alone and go. Okay. If you go, sometimes it can get a bit messy. Okay. But anyway, the choice is yours. It, 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 sometimes he does do. So you. Sometimes he does that. Rather than just going. The choice is yours. Okay. Uh, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, uh, you'll gleam something from that one. And it's a lovely little song. Um, lots of harmony in it, though. You need quite a, to get it really right. You need other people singing hallelujah with it. Uh, it's quite a sort of a, a sort of a choral thing, almost. You know, sort of lots of harmony going on in there. But lovely little song. Anyway, thanks for watching, listening, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.